Are you procrastinating the end of the bull run? If you're anything like I used to be, you think you can make an actual plan at the end when we're at all time highs, but that's a lie. In this video, I'm going over everything you need to know about the end of the bull run, including plans, staking USDC, expanding your investments, how long to wait to rebuy, and much, much more. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Ben. I've made over six figures trading crypto. I'm a full-time trader and I wanna teach you guys everything that I know, let's go. Now, before we begin, let me just say, no one knows when the bull run will actually end. It could end tomorrow or in six months or even a year from now. But these things will make you a better investor and prepared for if and when it does happen. If you've been investing in crypto since 2017, like myself, you remember clear as day what it felt like the end of the last cycle. We all thought we were gonna be rich and that it was never going to crash. And when the crash started and back in 2018, we all thought the same, that it was gonna be a temporary correction and we would be back at all time highs again. Well, it didn't quite play out like that. We waited and watched our portfolios lose value over the next one to two years. We could be experiencing the same thing right now and here is everything I wish someone told me before it all happened. What goes up must come down, or in my opinion, what goes up really fast and high will come down back even quicker. And we are in uncharted territory where coins are at all time highs. That is when you should be even more cautious. One of the biggest factors in the way we think and act in investing and trading is, is emotions. The logical thing to do when coins are up a lot, and especially as they're reaching all time highs or crushing them, is to sell some of them and wait to rebuy at lower prices. The emotional part of us tells us, no, this project is different, or this time is different because more companies and more people are adopting it, or it's just a short-term correction. Whether or not any of those are true, you gotta act on the logical side of your brain and sell some and prepare for a bear market, which is why I've created my own exit strategy. If you haven't watched that video, you can click on it right now. Alongside with emotions, greed plays a big role in our investing. I've made many mistakes by being greedy. One example is when I was heavily invested in OXT between 15 and 17 cents about a year ago, I was telling people that it was going to hit a dollar. I was betting big on it and I had like 45,000 coins. I had another trading opportunity come by with an NMR being added to Coinbase Pro and I decided to sell 75% of my OXT to buy NMR and sell it for like a 20% gain and then buy all my OXT back and make about 20% more OXT. The day after I sold my OXT, it went from 20 cents all the way up to 40 cents. And then the next night it hits $1 exactly. And then it started to come back down. So I made a lot of trades with the remaining 10K coins that I had and ended up making about six to $8,000 on that trade. But I missed out on a lot more potential from being greedy and chasing green candles instead of just waiting and reacting which is all that I teach in my course. If you wanna follow my trades and become a crypto knight, check out my Patreon, and then also you can check out my course to learn how I trade below. So how do you secure your gains? Trading is what will secure your gains. It teaches you discipline that will help you secure gains. If you haven't been through a bull run before, imagine how hard it will be to sell and secure profits. And even if you have and you didn't sell at all and secure profits before, it will be just as hard to sell because you don't want to sell early. You got to build up the habit of selling and trading because it will teach you to make those decisions and not be stuck holding on the bags as they drop more and more each day. I'm not planning on selling all of my crypto either. I plan to hold between 20 and 30% of it just in case I'm wrong we never have a bear market again now here's the more fun stuff what do you do with all the profits go on vacations buy a ton of stuff if that's what you're thinking I'm surprised you're even watching this video because that's the opposite of what most of us will do it's time to diversify our investments and let our money work for us while we wait to rebuy our crypto let's be honest patiently waiting for the right time to rebuy positions can be boring so I advise to wait between 6 to 12 months before you reinvest any money back into crypto and if you don't want to wait that long look for at least a 50 to 60 percent drop in bitcoin from the highs and look for about a 70 to 80 percent drop in altcoins from their highs to start rebuying and now what are some signs to look for when you want to rebuy so set aside a percentage of your usd to put back in monthly and you can do like 1,000 a month and for two years be just putting in a thousand bucks and then you're back in 24,000 by the time the two years is over. And then what you can do with that thousand bucks every time you put it in is you can start to work with that and trade it to build it up off of itself. Now, what is the plan? What do you wanna do with your portfolio? Where's the money going? You need to create a plan with how much of your portfolio you want to keep in the markets and what you want to do with the rest of it that's out of the markets. So here's my plan. I plan on selling about 70 to 80% of my crypto portfolio and follow my bull run exit plan to figure out how to sell 70 to 80% of my portfolio 
even when we don't know where the top of the market is. Next thing is I'll be staking about 50 to 70% of that money. I'll put it in USDC on crypto.com for about a 10 to 12% return. With the remaining 20 to 30%, I want to look into other investments such as real estate, business ideas, building a personal brand, developing new skills. Think of ways you can diversify your money in other areas where, while you wait to get back into crypto. I really want to get into vending machines and even into autom automation stores because I have buddies that do that and I want to learn about it and try it out. I would also like to do some Airbnb with some buddies of mine to rent out as well. You can create your business or find ways to make money that you're passionate about. I love music and writing songs and I've even released two songs on streaming platforms but it isn't a huge way to make money and that wasn't my intention. It is a passion and a goal of mine to release my original songs for a long time. I've invested about 1200 bucks to release both of these songs and I've made maybe between 20 and 30 bucks off of them since I released them. So it's not gonna make me a ton of money, but it was always a dream of mine to have my music out there. And so it's pretty cool to actually be able to do that. Let me know what you think of my plans and what things that you guys want to do to make money outside of crypto in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And remember as always, keep it in the green.